Hi guys, so I wanted to make a video on calling doctors. How to call doctors, what to say, what to do, when you should call doctors. Well, not really when because it's so different. But um, this is kind of something that's intimidating. It was intimidating to me when I first started as a nurse. It still can be a little intimidating depending on who the doctor is. And the thing that you should know is that no matter what, who the doctor is or what their personality is, so some doctors, super approachable. You could go up to them and be like, what up doc, the patient in room 15 is starting to bleed from their mouth, just to let you know. Or you know, I'm just making something up. And then some docs, you have to like, be very professional and you know, give them all the facts and be ready and all those things. So there's certain doctors that you can approach more casually and some that, you need to be more professional. And that's obviously something you'll learn as you get to know the doctors that work in your hospital where you're at. So the thing you should always keep in mind is no matter how mean a doctor may be or nice a doctor may be, don't let that ever compromise your patient's care. You know, some doctors, it's hard to go and talk with them because you know they're gonna be rude to you back and it's hard to go ask them questions or like, express things to them. And you can't let that be a barrier to not bringing something to their attention when you know it's something that you should be reporting to them or bringing up to their attention. That's a really hard thing to do when doctors become unapproachable. And I could go on and on about this topic, but my, my theory is I, I like to be nice to everyone. I don't like to be rude to people. And it doesn't matter if I'm having the worst day of my life, I'm still not an ass to people. And some doctors just have this complex where they think that they're they're better than you, they have higher education than you, and so that like you need to like be their servant. I don't know. Whatever it may be, some doctors are just plain right down right rude to you and disrespectful. Let's just get that out of the way. We know that's gonna happen when you work in the healthcare setting. So now let's talk about how to call doctors or talk with doctors. So the first thing is be prepared. You need to know what you're telling them and then kind of anticipate what they're gonna ask. If you're going to bring to a doctor's attention that you've noticed that they have bloody stools, you need to be knowing, is this the first time? Is, you know, have they been having it frequently? What color is it? Um, what is their most recent lab values, like their hemoglobin and hematocrit to show like are they losing blood, what's their admitting diagnosis, you need to kind of have those things prepared or at least try to be in front of a computer or something to be able to quickly pull up that information. You need to be clear and concise so when you're calling or talking to a doctor, they have lots of patients so you can't just be like hey the guy, that patient I have in room 5, well they may not know that patient in room 5, you need to give name, room, and I usually will say like Oh, he's the patient that was admitted on the 12th for this, this, and this. Do you remember? Oh, don't mind. Dog tail. And they'll usually, hey, do you mind? <laughs> do you mind? That's what I'm dealing with. Hey, don't be so cranky. <laughs> and doctors usually will like, not interrupt you, but like if they know who the patient is, they'll usually be like, oh yeah, 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 I know, okay, go on. You don't need to like finish saying, oh, and they're doing this, for this, 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 and this, they're gonna be like, get to the point, I'm busy. <laughs> so the best thing is just be prepared. Know what you're gonna say and what information they may ask. Something I like, some things I like to do when I'm calling doctors that I know will like hang up on you or are rude is I ha I'll like write down a list of like, I need to tell them this, 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 and this. So that way, when they're talking with me, I can be like, check, get that off the list, get off the list. And that way, like, it's not like I hang up and it's like, oh my gosh, I forgot to ask or tell them this. And then I have to call back and be like, sorry, I forgot. And then they're like annoyed with you. But you know, it. If you have to do that, you have to do that. And you know, I hate to say it, but doctors can just suck it up when nurses have to call them, especially working in the ICU. Like, I'm not just calling to tell you that the patient got an owie. I'm t calling to tell you that their blood pressure is 60 over 30 and I've done this, this, and this, and it hasn't worked. So, you know, most doctors are very appreciative that you've brought these things to their attention, but some are not, and that's just how it is. It's just like there's good nurses and there's bad nurses. Hey, can you not chew it on the squeaker? Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.